So before we put this boat in the water, this particular model does not come with a cover. So we got a hold of our friends at Covercraft and got a custom cover that fits this boat perfectly in its entirety. The straps go down around the bottom and uh, it's got a nice tight fit around the gunnel. It's a fantastic cover. Recommend checking them out if you need a cover for your boat. Hey, Thomas Allen with In Fisherman. I'm excited to talk to you today about one of our new TV boats. This is a Smokercraft 1866 Sportsman. This is a river boat and we have it powered with a 65 horsepower four stroke Yamaha jet motor. And we have decked this thing out front to back. Let's get it put in the water and I'm gonna walk you through this boat and all of the cool accessories we have rigged in this thing. All right, this is the new In Fisherman River boat. I told you it's a Smoker Craft 1866. Super excited about this boat. It is a shallow water river fishing machine. No matter where you live, if you're chasing catfish, smallmouth, you name it, in a small river, this is the kind of rig. We've got a 65 horse Yamaha four stroke jet motor on it, and that is the conversion kit. It's not a full, it is not the entire custom jet motor, but this one is awesome. Um, we're gonna start in front of the boat. I'm gonna walk you through all of the cool accessories we've added to this thing. Let's take a look. All right, so the power up front. We have a 45 inch, 36 volt Minn Kota Ultrex. Um, we got the foot pedal here. Uh, in this boat, we weren't able to put in a, a recessed foot pedal. Not necessarily required. Sometimes that's a comfort thing, but the way we run this boat, it works just fine. This particular motor is the iPilot Link. So it does have a pretty handy remote that we can use. Um, works pretty well. We're gonna spot lock it so we can hold ourselves in the river here. Pretty impressed by the spot lock technology, especially in a river situation. This locks down super solid. On the trolling motor, we've got Humminbird's Mega 360 and Humminbird's Mega Live. So I've got all of that information attached to the shaft of the trolling motor. And up front, I've got two Humminbird Solix 12 units. That's full touch screen, lots of different options. As you can see, I've got live going here. We've got Lake Master VX mapping going there, 2D sonar. All right, with all this technology, you have a lot of cables coming off your trolling motor. We've got four to six different wires on top of the cable steers. And to get everything nice and clean, I've got the TH Marine Troll Jacket. That is a neoprene Velcro thing that kind of holds everything together. Looks pretty good, I think, and it keeps everything organized. We'll get to the back of the boat in a minute here, but while we're up here, I've also got uh, Minn Kota Talon stomp pedals right here. Very conveniently located for me to reach with my foot. Very simple, just two, two pops down, deploys, and they will go down into the substrate, hold the boat rock solid. One, one tap up, and they stow. Super easy. This boat actually has the live well up front here. Uh, in fact, let's, let's take a quick look inside. Uh, I'm gonna apologize if there's fish guts because, well, we're using this thing. Uh, nice and roomy. And, and again, you've got the live well in the front. The gas tank is 28 gallons and it's under the front deck right here. So you actually have forward weight and that's a very important attribute in a river boat in a jet motor situation because you want the boat to get on plane. So that's why all this stuff is up here. Now let's move to the console and talk about all the controls at the captain's chair. All right. Very simple, I like it. It's elegant though, everything works. Got a horn, that's pretty cool just in case. The main unit here at the dash, this is another Humminbird Solix 12 touchscreen. Um, lots of different options here, I love. It's very important if you're running in a shallow river to use Lake Master mapping. Um, and I'm surprised and impressed really by how detailed and how accurate this mapping is. And let me tell you, when you're on a river, a lot of times the water levels go up and down. There is a, a attribute inside the VX and especially the Lake Master program that allows you to adjust the depth. So if the river happens to be three feet low, you can plug that in and all your contours will do it along with it. So it was super important for us to have very sturdy mounts and each of the graphs, the one here at the dash and the two up front are on, on balls out mounts. These things are awesome. They're rock solid. They don't move, it's all aluminum, so it won't rust either, which is super handy. And you can actually pick out several different colors. If you wanna have uh, black, you can get black anodized, but 
Check it out at their website. That's ballsout.com. But these mounts make this riverboat that much more sturdy and that much more reliable, especially when we're running high dollar electronics like the Solix 12. You want that thing to be protected. All right, so comfortable steering wheel. We've got fuel gauge. We've got a speedometer. We got a tack. We got voltage. Uh, I've got my Talon uh, remote right here. If I decide I want to run with the remote instead of the foot pedal, it's all handy. It's super handy at the dock. Love tapping that down. Uh, we've got a USB charging port here, which is super important for all of the accessories we're running nowadays. Built-in builds. We've got nav navigation lights. We've got the live well. Super easy. Uh, but this this is a very comfortable uh, location. Again. We're, we're not looking for to win a beauty contest with this thing, but this boat looks pretty awesome. This is a pretty sweet setup. Let's take a look at the back and see how we rig that. So when we got this boat, we had intended to put top of the line, state of the art electronics in it. And as you know, that means battery power. This boat has two compartments in the back for batteries. So that means you could only put two, basically like 31 series size batteries in it. Well, we have five in here. We needed to cover them, protect them, and nobody wants to see a bunch of wires, so make it look pretty. And we also often fish with a co-angler. And as if you watch a television show, you know that we have a cameraman too. We need a comfortable place for them to stand, co-angler to fish, and hey, we always need more storage. Before we get into that, I'm gonna show you a couple cool storage components to this boat that comes standard. Right here, we've got a built-in storage area. You can put anything you want, tackle, etc. There's actually rod holders, and these go up the gunnel a long ways. Nice and secure. Beauty is, hey, you can stand on it too. Uh, heavy duty, so it's dependable that way. Let's up, go over to this side. Uh, lots of storage again. You can put long rods in here it goes up towards the front of the boat we've got two power switches master power switches in the back one is for the talons the rest is for the electronics i'll explain why in a second close this all right so you got lots of storage now this boat comes with the seat and beneath the seat there's actually a little storage area here that you can put tackle trays in 3700s fit real nice uh, but there were two other bases like this as you can see right here, we've got two. Great place for some rain gear, more tackle if you want it. So I built this, I custom built this in my garage. I pro probably had too much time on my hands, but it's super important to make this function. Got some nice easy lids here. If you look down in there, it might be too dark, but you can trust me on this. I've got a Minn Kota five bank battery charger. There are five batteries in that. The plug for that is right here, nice and convenient next to a two holder. Let's look over on this side. We got more storage. I've got life jackets in there. You can put in whatever you want. So with today's modern technology, you gotta have a lot of batteries. I've mentioned that a couple times. X2 Power stepped up big time for in Fisherman this year. The main crank and the boat accessory battery is going to be a 31 series AGM. Lots of power. It's a phenomenal battery. I've been running them for years never had a problem. We have three 100 amp hour batteries, uh, lithium batteries that run the Ultrex up front. You gotta have three for a 36 volt system. We have those rigged in series so that they can provide that 36 volt power. The other thing that we did a little bit different this year is we added a single 125 amp hour lithium battery that's also in that 31 series size. That exclusively powers all the electronics. The reason that's important is if you're gonna run two, three, four, sometimes five graphs, if you're gonna run 360 and live, you have to have clean power that's not being pulled from other sources. So we have an independent 125 amp hour battery. You can't see them, but I'm gonna show you exactly where they are. In this back hatch, we have five X2 power batteries. As you can see, there are the trolling motor batteries and tucked up underneath, kind of hard to see with the camera angle but you can trust me we've got two other batteries in there and then at the far right we have this Minn Kota precision five bank charger but then at the very end here the powerhouse is the Yamaha four stroke that's a 65 horse motor with a jet motor conversion kit I'm a little scared to run in less than six inches I've been told it'll run in less than six inches of water I did put it to, to the test in about six or seven inches and it runs great. So you do have the skinny water option. And then on the back here, we have twin eight foot three stage talons. 
And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's amazing how well they work in a river situation. You can put the trolling motor on spot lock and it'll hold it. If you wanna face the nose downstream and drop the talons, you're locked in. So again, we have taken this cool Smoker Craft Sportsman 1866 river boat with a jet motor and we've made it a river fishing machine. We're gonna be using it in future in fisherman television shows. Thanks for checking it out. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you here on the next video.